Hello folks, this is Steve AB4EL with my croaking voice. This is a barbecue run. For those of you who've never watched before, I'm going to Spoons Chapel Christian Church. Now you'll see the sign right here, just like the one that's at my corner. Fort Barbecue this Saturday. 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now there are other churches along this road, but we're going to Spoons Chapel Christian Church. I go twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. It's the rhythm of the Piedmont of North Carolina. Last Saturday, I went down to Montgomery County and I visited the Ether United Methodist Church for their church barbecue. I had fun. It was the first time I'd been there. But this one I've been to many times. Now look at the, look at the leaves. They're all changed. The leaves are falling. This week we've had 80, literally 80 degree temperatures. And now we're going into a couple of days where it's going to pretend to try to be winter or the beginning of winter or whatever. Uh, did you see it there? Spoons Chapel Christian Church. Now we're turning on to Spoons from Spoons Chapel Road to Spoons Chapel Church Road, which is a short one. We can see the vehicles there. Oh, I have to Pay attention to the traffic direction. These folks want to make sure that I turn in the right place. <laughs> How you doing, folks? They want to be sure I turn in the right place. Hello? 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 Okay, I'll follow the orange cones on the ground. Now down there, down there straight ahead is where the cookers are. Now he's waving me up there. Oh no, what? I'll put one, one plate to go. I'm doing great, thank you. There's a little more, keep it all. Thank you very much. Thank you. How are you today, sir? I'm having a good time. How about you guys? Oh, you want great. me to pull up a little bit? No, you're fine. You're fine right there. You're so far. Okay. You're all good. All good. Just want to get a view of the folks. I love this. Oh, you're I, all good. Oh. For the very first time last Saturday, I went down to Ether in Montgomery County to their church barbecue for oh, the really? first time. Found good. another one. <laughs> oh, I'm good. I found another one. There you go. Thank you. Thank, well, thank you. you. Hope you have a great day. Now, I'll be stopping over there. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 good. Today, I'm, good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just take it easy. Yeah, I'm just taking it easy. All right. Uh, I almost spilled a little. So just, okay, now I'm leaving the dash cam running. They got music in there. Ooh, that's going to be a bother. I may have to dub some music over. So that I don't get excited. Now, the church is to the left, and there's cemeteries over there. And, I, and now, give me a few moments to get out and get the stuff ready. All right.
All right, we're ready to begin this portion. There's their church. Isn't it beautiful here? Beautiful. And there's the traffic direction over there, making sure people go in the right way. Okay, now I kind of prep. So we have, now I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna open this. I always get sauce. I have, you can see what I'm doing. I'm an old, I'm old. This so it wouldn't slide around. I was thinking ahead this time. Ooh, ooh. All right, for those who don't know, this is fairly standard fare for the church barbecues. We have these kind of beans. I always start with these, I love them. These are, uh, these are not out of a can. These are obviously made by somebody's recipe and it's incredible. And I say, let me make sure this is working. Okay, it is. And I always say they should go into business. Seriously. Notice I took it twice. It's so good. I wish I were having it every day. and it's fresh prepared and they did it and it's great. Both of these are low sugar, low salt. Thank you. Pardon me, this is so good. <laughs> now, for those who don't know, North Carolina has a friendly struggle between two groups. The people who go for chopped barbecue and those who go for pulled where it comes off in hunks. This was hand pulled and this was chopped and here is a more coarser piece. Now they've put a little bit of, they've put a little bit of sauce on here. It's very light. The flavor is excellent. I love the recipes here. It is so tender. Oh my goodness. If you were eating this, you would come out every time. You would know why you come out every time. No, I'm not gonna eat the whole meal now. I'm just, I can't, I can't hold myself back. Pardon me, folks. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the road a little bit and I'm gonna stop and do a lot more eating then I'll go home. Let me finish this. Oh no, no, I'm not gonna, I, I just wanna eat it all right now. It's incredible. I'm not exaggerating. Ooh, this is their emblem, Spoons Chapel, forming slaves of Jesus, a community of ordinary people who have been saved by an extraordinary Savior, who desire everybody to hear about it. And they have a passage here from uh, Romans from the New Testament. They have a website. Here's their address. I'll be showing it on the video, Spoons Chapel Church Road. Now, this is Spoons Chapel Church Road, and I came off of Spoons Chapel Road. And as I've said in the past, in rural North Carolina, and I've been to all 100 counties, it's not unusual to find country rural roads with a church name on it, because they often went for miles, and it was what was at the end of that road. And it's just local familiarity. So I'm gonna say to the chefs and the cookers chefs, it's terrific, again, terrific. Okay, now let me pause. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, wait, 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 no, wait. 
I almost forgot. Oh. They, I don't know if there's, let me put it down. Apple pie and pumpkin pie are my two absolute favorites. Homemade. Oh, wow. All right, all right. I gotta go. All right, now we'll pause. Oh, whoever picked this out for me, thank you. All right, folks, I'm headed out. There we go. The guardians of the entrance. It's been raining, so they, one of them's got a little lean-to over on the top of that lawn chair. This time of year in North Carolina is so beautiful. I know it's overcast, but actually it's probably be better for my uh, video through the windscreen. And as I said, our temperatures have been summer-like again this year. And what I can tell you is almost no acorns, and other people are confirming. The hickory nut on the trail is less. And what I noticed, I finally noticed in the yard. See all these oak trees? We have a lot of oak trees. I have oak trees in the yard. Aside from the fact that there's almost no acorns this year, and I think it's because of the temperature change being so hot during most, even the spring, certain insects that seasonally come to visit my yard, including the ones that eat the leaves on the young oak trees in the yard, have been totally absent this year. And I just realized it last week. So we've come into fall, and I have a, a young oak tree in the yard coming into the fall, and as I was looking at the leaves, which were just starting to turn, there have been no caterpillars on them eating them up, which is different than all of the years I've been here. But whether it was hot this summer or cool this summer, I have just visited Smoon's Chapel Christian Church. You saw somebody didn't make it across the road there. And I've had my preliminary sampling taste of their incredible barbecue plate. Remember, I'm, telling, I'm using a word based on having tasted it. Can homemade, can be, can church made, can individual recipes beat anything you can get in a restaurant? Oh yes. Excuse me for raving, it's that good. Okay, I'm headed home. This is Steve AB Foriel. Oh, you, you can't see the big grin on my face. This is Steve AB Foriel, headed home to finish the uh, Spoon Chapel Church autumn, fall, barbecue, Wait, thank you. Say, see you in 73.